Hello loves, my name is Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been consistent with us, thank you for joining once again. But if you haven't subscribed, but you've been following us all this while, please, I think this is the time for you to subscribe. And if this is your first time, I make content videos on hair. I was on locks before, but now I'm on loose natural, but it's still all about growing your hair, maintaining your hair, and styling your hair. So if this is the kind of content you like to see on your screen, please don't forget to subscribe and like this particular video at the end because I think you're going to enjoy this one. It's actually very informative and you'll love it. So on today's video, we'll be talking about herbs, 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 H-E-R-B-S. We'll be talking about herbs that help with hair growth. And herbs are something that I feel would give you that type of growth, thickness, fullness that you actually want for your hair. Now, for my skin, generally, I really don't like making use of organic stuff and all that. But when it comes to my hair, my hair, I go all the way organic because natural plants actually help. They have a lot. They have a lot of nutrients. They have a lot of content. Both the ones I'm aware of and the ones I'm not aware of because I didn't do science in school. There are some properties that I know that these herbs contains that I don't really know their names, but then they really help with hair growth. They help with the thickness of the hair. They help in reducing cell damages, a whole lot of things. But then we all need to know these herbs, how they work, and how we can actually use them for our hair routine, for our skin, uh, for our hair care, and every other thing. So stay tuned. So I'm going to make this video into two. Today we are going to be doing three, three herbs, three plants. One is the famous, the famous aloe vera. I know everybody knows aloe vera and everybody, almost everyone has aloe vera in their backyard. Well, I do, I do. We have aloe vera plants in our house and the second one is hibiscus flower which we are all conversant with just that most times what we do with hibiscus is to drink it we turn it to zobo and then we drink very nutritious stuff but still it's good for the hair and then the third one which is not really that common is oregano oregano leaf oregano plants it's something that you might not really come across every day you could see it in a mall. Well, I have it in my house too, the dried leaves. But yeah, so these three things, hibiscus, aloe vera, and oregano leaf. So stay tuned and get ready to be informed. Oregano is a special flowering plant in the mint family. It's also a native to the Mediterranean region, but widely neutralized elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere. Oregano has many properties that makes it an excellent choice for hair care. It can also be used in a tea form or oil form, or even in a hair cream or a hair mask. Oregano is perfectly preserved by drying, and with these dried leaves, you can make out your hair oil from it. You can make your hair mist by immersing it in boiling water. You can actually use it for cooking as well. But for hair, oregano is rich in vitamin C, which is essential for producing the collagen our bodies need to enhance hair growth. It contains vitamin B C, which, like vitamin C as well, helps maintain healthy skin and scalp. Well, immersing this in oil using the double boiling method will give you your oregano oil and boiling it in water can give you your hair mist which you can just spray on your hair daily just for moisture and no more hair growth. 
and for our dearly beloved aloe vera <laughs> this is a succulent plant species of the genius aloe it is widely distributed and also considered as an invasive species in many world regions the bioactive compounds from aloe vera are claimed to be very effective in treatments of various ailments such as burns allergic reactions or foul piles and inflammatory but aloe vera itself strengthens the hair it helps with itchy scalp protection from uv damage promotes hair growth aloe vera works great to boost growth stimulation of hair by improving the scalp health and promoting more healthy hair follicles now we can use aloe vera gel just like that as a hair mask we can also get aloe vera oil We're still using the double boiling method we can just put aloe vera into our water blend it together and turn it into a hair mist and just leave it in into your hair then we can just have aloe vera gel we can use it for styling our hair it might not really be as strong as our normal gel but the most important thing is that it doesn't leave build up in your hair and at the same time it's going to promote hair growth and shiny hair the last but not the least our lovely hibiscus flower i don't know if it's called hibiscus or hibiscus but whichever <laughs> Hibiscus is high in antioxidants and offers many potential benefits. It helps promote weight loss, reduces the growth of bacteria and cancer cells, and also supports the health of the heart and the liver. Hibiscus is used for hair growth as it is rich in amino acids, a prime building block of keratin. Now, keratin is the protein that nourishes, strengthens, and binds the hair roots hibiscus is known to improve the building up of that keratin and boost the formation of new hair follicles thereby stimulating hair growth now the best way of preserving hibiscus is actually by drying and in drying now we can make use of it with uh, making hair masks hair mists hibiscus oil still by double boiling the hibiscus plant is very common in our country. Most people have turned it to their daily businesses, getting these plants, drying them, and selling them. Most times, we make use of it for our Zobo drink just by boiling it and adding some other ingredients to just sweeten it, you know. But then, using hibiscus for our hair is another ball game some people have never discovered this some people are not aware of this but this is something you should try out make use of hibiscus for your hair mist your hair mask your hair oil and every other thing it's very rich the ball game is to give you a softer hair promote hair growth fullness and a whole lot of things that you can never imagine okay we are back i hope this video was informative and i'll be making videos on how i make use of these herbs and plants that i actually mentioned because i'm still on my braids so i can't really do anything which is other than oil in my scalp so when i take down my braids I'm going to show you how I'm going to make use of the hibiscus, the aloe vera, and the oregano. One thing I'm going to tell you about aloe vera plant is that I used it very well when I was on locks because I didn't have the locking, relocking gel, retwisting gel. So I was making use of aloe vera gel itself. My hair was growing massively. I'm not going to lie to you. I was using it almost every month. At some point, I had to stop. I was like, hold on, hold on. No calm down so i had to start using um you know a man-made product to twist my looks but when i was using aloe vera gel consistently it was really helping with my hair growth and i really recommend it for anybody who is ready to start natural hair to start growing their natural hair 
so if you want to grow your natural hair i must say you have to focus on natural products or have to focus on herbs diys and stuff like that all it takes is um some ingredients and love and patience yeah and consistency so if you're really ready to walk through your hair journey you have to have these three things plus the rest of the ingredients that you need needing for your hair <laughs> all right so till we meet again in another video where we'll be doing another set of three herbs so then stay tuned don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please i think this is the time for you to do that if you want to know when i'll be posting my next video please do turn on the notification button somewhere somewhere here i don't know somewhere yeah it's around <laughs> all right have a nice day bye